Hello and welcome back to Ikmal Studio. Uh, I'm Azadin. Uh, in this uh, video, uh, as I mentioned in the last video, when we uh, created our uh, stars on the sky, I'm gonna do um, some wave, uh, add some wave to our uh, water in the pool, and maybe animate uh, just to give a little bit uh, uh, motion. So let's uh, go back to this mode, which we have a uh, quicker uh, view and i'm gonna uh, isolate this uh, plane we created for our water by uh, shift h if you hold down shift and h so we will hide everything and just uh, see our uh, water which is just uh, a plane so i'm gonna go into edit mode like this and i'm gonna select the edge uh, at the round so just hold down alt and select this and then shift to select all the way around so shift alt to select all the way around and now i'm going to I'm gonna extrude this down so e and z so just extrude like this okay and i'm gonna select the top uh, vertices so by pressing one into vertices and enable x-ray so select all the top uh, vertices and going to uh, this one so i'm gonna create a group to add our display modifier to just uh, affecting the top uh, vertices because we don't want the bottom vertices to be uh, affected by uh, display so map uh, so let's create this one and I'm gonna call it waves and assign don't forget this is important to assign this to um, these uh, vertices only so now if I deselect and select it should just select the top uh, vertices I'm going out of edit mode by pressing tab and now going back to this and add displacement modifier as you can see it's just uh, affecting uh, the top vertices but we want to add um, our uh, material to we want to create a material to uh, drive our uh, displacement to create some uh, wave so first of all I'm gonna select uh, our waves so just to affect uh, the top uh, part of uh, our plane and create a new texture for our uh, water and I'm gonna just on Z so we just want to effect on the uh, direction and now we haven't add anything so I was in uh, sorry this mode so we want to go here to uh, create a texture for our water so this and this one in here is same so if I change the name here let me call it water waves just to be different on the other one so if if you go in here you see it's been changed so we edit in here but it's the one which is already been added to our displacement mount so now we just need to add uh, I'm gonna choose clouds so as you can see is affecting our uh, top uh, vertices we want to play with the strength and size so let me try and just want to make them a little smaller we just want a little bit of movement we don't want like really wavy uh, water so this is just to 
to give the the size of the wave in here and then the other setting will be in the displacement map so I'm gonna keep it like this and then we're gonna bring down our uh, strength down so if I go back into this one and uh, bring the strength down just to have a little bit so point two let me try point two and point three and I think I'm gonna make a little bit more wave in there so if I go back here to scale it down this little bit more not so much if I make this shady smooth let's see how it's gonna look like and it's already shaded smooth by alt H to unhide everything else like this and then go back into this mode so to see a little bit better what we have in our scene to play with the strength a little bit I'm gonna leave a point four I think because I uh, sorry point three is uh, it was good size for me uh, that's up to you and if you want to make uh, more uh, waves smaller one you just play with this setting and scale this one down so you will have more wave like this so now I'm gonna try to uh, animate this so I'm going back to this mode just to make uh, uh, things quicker and press shift H again to uh, hide everything and keep this one only so it's easier for us to see what we are doing and now I'm gonna uh, add an empty to animate uh, this displacement uh, map so shift A and then an empty so I'm gonna add this one sorry uh, I'm gonna undo this one and I'm gonna add empty not out of the first one this one and G X to move this way and G Z to move it up like this and I just want to animate this and see um, because I have about 2000 frame uh, in my uh, timeline but maybe you have shorter one so probably moving from here to here maybe is enough for you but because I have uh, long, um, many camera in there uh, I want to keep the water move uh, while all the way to up to 2000 frame so uh, depends like, uh, how many frame you have on your timeline uh, so I'm gonna uh, move this one on Y up to here and then press I and then add location uh, keyframe so it's adding keyframe to the timeline hey and then I'm gonna move this one to the end and see how it's gonna look like if it's too slow I'm gonna make uh, more movement uh, so let's see how it's gonna look like and then press and move this one to so G Y move it to this side and then I and add another keyframe for the location so now we just have this and I'm making sure to have same movement all the way uh, down I don't like slow and then speed up and slow down so we just have this uh, and then going back to our displacement map from here uh, to animate this we just want to add uh, our object so I'm gonna select object from here and then we're gonna pick up our empty like this so now we should have little movement to our wood and I think it's look okay to me 
because uh, I don't want to have like wavy is not uh, uh, too much happening in our scene so it's a little pull and we don't have many waves uh, in there so I think to me it's like right so I'm gonna keep it like this and that should be okay if you want to play with uh, the water to make it smoother uh, that's you can subdivide your uh, plane and uh, make it a smooth uh, surface for yourself but I may be gonna keep it like this I don't like these squares to be honest uh, but it is low poly so I'm gonna try stop and let me add um, subdivide how it's gonna look like uh, but if I didn't like it I'm gonna remove it so let me add subdivide and see so that's up to you if you want to have something like this or even add more you can make it more but don't forget this is gonna add uh, time to uh, render in your uh, scene so if you want something like this uh, you can keep uh, this subdivider uh, and the other thing if you do want this edge to be like this you can add um, before adding this so let me dis uh, disable from here and go into edit mode and I'm just gonna add another a loop in uh, this by control R like this and then G Z and move it up so you'll have a little bit sharper uh, edge like this and then get out of edit mode and enable so I think if you want to keep it like this you can keep it like this let me make one. Let me unhide everything by Alt H and then sorry, it's selecting everything. So, came back to this and now looking at our scene and see how it's uh, looked like. So it's very uh, subtle movement we have in our water and I think I'm, I'm happy with uh, what we have. So if you want to play with your water, you can play with uh, the wave to scale them down and have smaller wave uh, by just changing the size in here. Uh, and other thing, if you want to make them higher or lower, you just play with the uh, the uh, strength of uh, display uh, this one so I think I'm gonna leave it like this and I'm happy with this one because uh, we're not gonna see much uh, from this uh, pool so I believe uh, that's enough and we're nearly done for uh, this course I'm gonna think about I may add just moon to my scene uh, or just keep it like this so so let me quickly show you uh, what I have my camera setup in the scene by pressing zero uh, so this is my first camera uh, I'm not sure if I change that a bit from the other one So this is all the camera has been set up. So it's about uh, nine camera. I hope you enjoy uh, this course and to learn from. And I really appreciate if you support me uh, to do more uh, free course uh, like this. I think I'm gonna leave it like this, and I'm gonna. I go for rendering my scene so let me save this and uh, render setting you just go in here 
I think I explained in other video just in case if you didn't watch that video you just change the resolution size in here this is full HD if you want 4k you just change this one and the frame from the first frame you know your length uh, the length of your animation so mine is from 0 or 1 to 2000 which is 1 to 2000 and frame rate this is the lock you're looking for so if you're looking for 24 frame per second or 30 or up to 60 if you're doing something like slow motion but for me i'm gonna choose 25 a frame per second um in europe but in if you want like to have a film look you maybe go with 24 so i'm gonna keep mine with 25 and to save into the folder you just select this and give it the name and the format you want so you can change different format in here but for me jpeg i think they are good and then putting sequence together in i think i believe you can do in blender and other software like after effects or premiere pro uh, that's um, up to you i just want to mention before rendering out i have a little smoke coming out from the house but i forget to record that when uh, doing that it's very simple uh, but if you want me to do a separate video about uh, that how to do it uh, just let me know in the comment below and i will make a separate video uh, to show you how to do that i hope you enjoyed and learn and benefit from uh, this course and please share and like and subscribe to the channel that's really helped uh, supporting me to do more video like this or more course like this and i really appreciate if you even donate no matter how little it is that's really helping me to do more uh, video like this and course like this so thank you very much and i will see you next time